Well, hello everyone. It's the Minnesota Cash Kitten back as promised with more of the brandy brand new tickets from the Minnesota Lottery. These are for the month of December and I have two of the $3 Minnesota Lottery Gnome Crossword. Yes, tickets number 10 and 11 and these are complicated. <laughs> so you've got two puzzles. You've got black words and you've got blue words. And over here in this legion, it says how you win. So Four black words is $3, two black words and two blue words is $5, and so forth. It just got to be complicated. The letters are way down here, but you can win up to 30 grand. So let's give it a shot. Overall winning odds, where are they? One and 3.59. All righty. Well, let's get going here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Oh, boy. Well, we'll just we'll just have to move it around. Okay, here we go. Winning letters are, let's do these a couple at a time, an O and a J. Do we even have a J? Probably not. Oh, there is one. Ha! Huh! Down in the blue words. Okay, next two letters. Let's go this way. A B and a C. B and a C. That looks to be about it. Next two. N and a P. N and a P. Okay, let's see if we have any down here in the blue words. Just one N. All right. Now we have to move this over a little bit. So let's do a Z and a T. All right, Z and T. Such lovely letters with that Z. So promising. But you never know. Okay, we don't have any. Oh, we have one down here. Amazing. And one T. All right, next letter is an X. The magical X. Well, we actually have a few, or a couple, anyway. All right, next letters. We've got an R and an M. All right, R and M. Ooh, look, I missed a P right there. M, M, R. Hey, our first word is root, so we need four. Well, we need an, at least one more black word and two blue words, or three more black words to win. I don't know if I like that. Let me know what you think. If you're from Minnesota or any other state that does this kind of wackadoo prize, I don't know. Let me know what you think of it. I guess it's okay. It's just, it's just different and I don't like it. All right. <laughs> um, where are we? R's and M's. All right. That Oops, sorry about that. See, I'm all over the place. See, this shouldn't be down here. It should be up here or down here, but not here in the corner. Anyway. <sighs> all right. Next letter is a U. Let's get that lined up. Do we have a U? We have one, two. All right. Next two letters. Oh, glorious E. So nice to see that. An E and an L. All right. Oh, we are just dangerously close on a lot of these words. Look at that. An L and an E. Okay, whoa, hey now. All right. Next two, a Y and an H. All righty. Y and H. We have an H. H, let's clean that off a little bit. A Y, an H. Okay, so we have our first word up here, and that is the word, oh, actually, that's the second word. So we have root and ouch. So we're looking for two more words, or two words down here. Will it happen? I don't know. Okay, so we are looking for, what the heck, uh, a Y and an H. All right, well, we've got our first word down here, and that is the word rye. 
All right, last two letters, a K and a G. Ugh. I just don't think so. And down here, a K and a G. Nope. Looks like we just got um, one winning word down here and two up on the upper puzzle. So that one is a loser. Next. Sorry about that. We're five minutes into it. I can't believe it. And I tend to go pretty quickly with crosswords. But it is what it is. Here we go. Let's go across this time. So we've got an I and a T. Only one eye in that upper puzzle. Crazy. All right, no T's in the lower puzzle. Next letters, R and a Y. R and a Y. And in the lower puzzle... That's it. All right. Next two words are an N and a K. All right. Let's see what we can find. N and a K. And down here. I think that's it. How about some more vowels, please? Let's try these two. A J and a U. Hmm. And no J. Ugh. All right, next two. We've got a P and an X. Fabulous. Just fantastical. Couldn't ask for better letters. A P and an X. Right, well, we have a P down here. We have a couple. Hmm. I don't see. Oh, there's one more. Okay, I think I've got them all. Next to M and a G. Well, if we get an E, that would be fantastic. M and a G. There's another G I missed. How about that? Alrighty, I think that's it. All right, next two. F and a D. <clears throat> You're making me work for it today. F and a D. F and a D. There's another P I missed. Okie dokie. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see. An E and a C. Well, that's that's promising. All right. E and a C. We could use an A now. All right. Our first word is term, and our second word is a menu. So right next to each other. That's kind of cool. All right, any more C's up here that I might have missed? No. All right, let's go down here. C's and E's. All right, we have a word down here. We have the word keep. Fantastic. And an E. All right. Well, if we get an H, we will have a $5 win. Will we get an H? We got a Q. Ha-ha! Victory is mine! <laughs> Woo! All right, I think I did. I think I won. All right, here we go. What do we have? A Q and an H. H. Oh, I had an X, too, that I missed. Not that it really matters, but okay, a Q and an H. No O's, no S's, no L's, no W's. Okay, down here, we have a Q... And an H. Sweet. Okay, so that's, there we go. We got two blue words. So here and keep. 
and to Blackwords term and menu. And I believe this is a $5 win. So not bad out of that. At least we got a little something back. And there you have it. Thank you all again for stopping by. Please press like and have yourself a fabulous day. Bye.